Hello, uh, good morning. So today, our topic will be nursing oncology. Okay, first, uh, let's try to study the pathophysiology of cancer. So, cancer, this is a disease, okay, in which uh, there are uh, abnormal cells that divide without control and are able to uh, divide uh, invade other tissues, okay, they destroy the tissues around them. Okay. So, the cancer it came from the Greek word carcinoma, meaning crab, because as you can see in the picture, uh, the appearance of a, a uh, cancer cells, uh, there are um, uh, appendages or, or feet that looks like a crab, okay. Uh, also, cancer sometimes it is called tumor, okay, but a tumor uh, is referred as a neoplasm meaning there is a new growth okay from the word neo which means a new and plasm growth okay so for the biology of um, cancer cells um, cancer uh, is a predominantly a disease of uh, aging okay meaning it takes a multiple uh, mutations Okay, um, that is required before a cancer can develop. Okay, kailangan maraming mutations. Okay, uh, for a cancer to develop. Okay, uh, as you know, uh, mutations of uh, our cells happens every day. Okay, maybe uh, due to um, hereditary or uh, radiations or chemicals or even spontaneous error during the duplications of the DNA, okay, uh, and then supposedly uh, the damaged or mutated uh, DNA or cells are destroyed or died spontaneously, okay, but then in a cancer, they don't die, but they uh, proliferate instead, okay, the, the proliferation also is uncontrollable, okay, there is a clonal uh, proliferation or expansion okay meaning ang proliferation ay nagdi-divide sila padami ng padami okay they are multi uh, they are nagmo-multiply po sila okay so as a result of a mutation a cell will acquire the characteristics the characteristics that, that allow to have a selected advantage over its neighbor okay so kung marami na sila ay uh, uh, they are already in the advantage over the cells that surrounding them okay they because increase the, the growth rate and even decreases apoptosis okay hindi sila apoptosis meaning the spontaneous dying of an old cell okay in a uh, mutated or a uh, cancer cells they don't die or decrease the ability to apoptosis now for the different characteristic of neoplasm or the new growth, okay, a new growth may be uh, a, a benign uh, neoplasm or a malignant neoplasm, okay. What is benign? Benign are uh, well differentiated, okay. Meaning, as we as we remember during our uh, microbiology, we seen uh, different types of cells, right? Okay, we can uh, identify if it is a columnar cells or a uh, striated cells okay or squamous cells okay so uh, uh, that is a well differentiated cells meaning we can uh, identify uh, by the appearance itself okay so a benign is a well differentiated it resembles the normal cells okay but uh, to differentiate from the uh, normal cells the benign uh, cells uh, cannot control cell preparation meaning they uh, grow and multiply um, uh, uncontrollably okay another uh, characteristic of a benign um, cells they are encapsulated okay meaning the it is uh, covered by a thick uh, protein okay uh, they are uh, contained in a thick membrane okay? while uh, malignant uh, malignant cells okay they already lost the ability to control both proliferation and differentiation say okay? so para as din ng benign na they uh, uh, proliferate or multiply okay uh, the difference is it is not it, you cannot already differentiate 
from where it came from. Okay, like for example, it is already from the kidney. Okay, you cannot recognize it already if it is from the kidney. Okay, so also a cancer is a malignant neoplasm or malignant cell. Okay, the cells often do not mature and differentiate normally to do the job the tissue is supposed to do. Okay, so hindi na sila nagfa-function where uh, like uh, the tissue where they came from okay they even uh, increase uh, the functions of the cell they came from okay like for example if uh, if the location of the malignant cell is on the pituitary gland the function of the pituitary gland to secrete growth hormone okay because of the malignant cell that is uh, that grow in the pituitary gland there will be an increase uh, secretion of growth hormone okay So yun ang ang nagiging actions of a malignant cells. Okay, next, a malignant cells also grow in the absence of growth factor. Okay, ano ba siyang growth factor nito? Ito ay kailangan ng cells. Okay, ito ay yung magbibigay ng go signal for a cell to grow or to multiply. Like for example, in our skin, okay. If uh, kailangan natin mag-change na ng skin, okay, the signal will will came from the growth factor, okay, and then it will now uh, promote uh, uh, changing of your skin or growing of the uh, growing of new uh, skin cells, okay, and after um, uh, growing or uh, producing enough uh, skin cell, they will now be uh, stopped by a uh, uh, rest. The restrict growth factor, okay, so magi-stop na siya. But in the malignant cells, okay, they don't need the growth factor. Even absent ang growth factor, or or they make their own growth factor, okay. So ang nangyare is it continually growing because of and there's no need for the signal for them to grow or Or if there is absent growth of growth factor, they will produce their own growth factor. And when they are growing, okay, there will be no restriction growth factor that will stop these mutated cells to grow. So the result will be that will be continuing production or duplicating of these malignant cells. Okay, normally. Normal cells will die after um, uh, reaching an aged uh, point. Okay, so kung tumatanda sila, ay namatay na sila, and then they will be replaced by another new cells. Okay, in a malignant cells, they evade this characteristic apoptosis. Okay, hindi sila namamatay; they continually uh, living and continually producing. Or duplicating, okay. So this is a very significant characteristic of a malignant cells. Okay. How are we going to name a tumor? Okay. There are general rules for naming a a tumor, but then there are also exceptions in naming a cells. Okay. Neoplasm are often called tumor, like like I said before. It is a new growth. Okay, so name the name of a a neoplasm will came from the parenchymal. Okay, meaning the functional tissue from which they were were derived. Like for example, if derived from the lungs, okay, from the kidney, okay, from the skin. Okay, okay. For the benign tumors, ah. To name a uh, benign tumors, okay, it should be the tissue name plus oma. Okay, for example, they are came from the skin or the <coughs> straight of the skin. So this is a tissue. So this is a straighted. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, next, uh, the malignant naman ay uh, ganon den from the tissue name plus Carcinoma, like for example, <coughs> this from a squamous cell, you call that squamous cell carcinoma. From glandular, naman, 
ito ay mini glandular ay ito yung nagsisikret ng gland ay nagsisikret ng secretion ng ng ng, ng nagsisikret siya okay they are uh, came from the gland so uh, the name will be adenoma ad adeno plus carcinoma okay examples adenocarcinoma yung sa melanocytes naman this is came from the from the skin the uh, melanin that um, uh, produces uh, color pigmentation okay ito yung um, exception to the rule okay as you can see uh, the the sopix is oma okay so but then this is a malignant uh, tumor okay ito naman the uh, sa mga mesenchymal tissue naman ito ay mga uh, connective tissue and soft tissue like for example connective tissue are bone Okay, uh, cartilage, okay, while soft, ito ay mga muscle, okay? So, to name them is the name of the tissue plus sarcoma. Okay, like for example, osteosarcoma or, or uh, <coughs> um, bone uh, cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, now let's see some example of, um, of uh, a tumor. Excuse me. Okay. As you can see, the glandular, okay, so EB9 is uh, the name of the of the gland. This is adoma, ad, um, adoma, ad, uh, adeno, and then the suffix oma, okay. While a malignant, okay, uh, the adeno plus carcinoma, okay. Uh, for the connective tissue naman, sabi ko kanina, for the bone, okay, Osteo, bone, and oma for benign, while for malignant, as you can see, okay, the subex is already sarcoma. Okay? Sa, sa brain naman, is the glial, uh, the glial tissue of the brain, okay? So, glioma, benign, while uh, 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 ito yung mga other, other, uh, other uh, uh, exception on the rule, okay? Uh, instead of carcinoma or um, sarcoma, it is a glomablastoma or astrocytoma. Okay, uh, it is it differ now for the rules, the general rule for the malignant cell. Okay, so this is the sample of your uh, uh, naming of your tumor uh, with the tissue type. Okay, uh, let's try to uh, study further. And the different uh, type of uh, neoplasm, okay, neoplasm. So every nine tumor, okay, uh, they contain cells that resemble the normal cells, okay. It is uh, well differentiated. Alam mo kung saan nanggaling itong uh, benign tumor na to, okay. Uh, they may perform the normal functions of the tissue, okay. Like example, secretes hormone, okay. But then, it may lead to... Um, uh, it may lead to over secretion okay uh, example din kanina if it's located on a glandular um, uh, tissue okay it will increase the function and secretion of this uh, hormone okay um, uh, they grow slowly okay uh, not like the the malignant that proliferates exponentially uh, they are surrounded by fibrous capsule okay as well as i said a while ago uh, capsulated sila okay so they do not infiltrate invade or metastasize okay they are only contained on the uh, fibrous capsule uh, but then they can damage the nearby organ by compressing them because these cells uh, grow okay uh, so if uh, they grow uh, very big the surrounding tissues will be compressed of the because of the increased size of this tissue. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Next. For um, malignant cells, the man, <coughs> they contain cells that do not look like the normal adult cells. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, na muna ko. I don't want to uh, stop already my recording uh, because of HNS because magka problema na naman ako sa editing okay so just is uh, please excuse me uh, my voice 
I will just continue to record kahit na ganito yung boses ko. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so um, uh, the malignant cells uh, do not uh, perform the normal functions of the tissue, okay? Uh, but they uh, may secrete signals and signs or toxic uh, chemical uh, instead of the normal functions of the tissue where they came from. Okay? So, ito, this, this is the reason why nagkakaroon ng, uh, one, of, one of the reason why nagkakaroon ng um, uh, experience yung patient with the uh, uh, malignant tumor with the uh, great pain or intense pain. Okay? Why, why the reason why the patients are uh, um, in pain always. Okay? Uh, next, malignant uh, tumor. Uh, autonomously prorated rapidly and can be uh, continued to mutate. Okay? So, ito, dire-diretso siyang um, dire-diretso siyang lumalaki, dumadami. Okay? And habang dumadami sila, habang nagmamultiplicate, is the mutation also uh, continues to uh, uh, na nangyayari ang mutation. Okay? The mutation uh, continually happen. Okay? Uh, next, they uh, lack capsule. So, sabi ko nga, uh, hindi sila contained because they send legs. Okay? Uh, as, as you can see, may mga legs yung mga, mga cancer or uh, mutated cell or malignant cell. Okay? Into surrounding tissue. Kaya, uh, they are called cancer because uh, they have a, a crab-like, okay, based on their legs. Okay? Um, they uh, infiltrate, invade, and metastasize to distant site. Okay, pwedeng, pwedeng lumipat sila, pwedeng mag-travel sila, they will invade another organ or another, another tissues. Okay, uh, because of the increase in size, they can compress and or destroy the, the surrounding tissues where they grow. There are two uh, categories of uh, malignant uh, neoplasm, okay? Uh, the solid uh, tumor and the hematologic type, okay? The solid tumor, uh, they are initially confined to a specific tissue or organ, okay? But then eventually will invade and break through the original tissue and may metastasize by entering the blood and the limb system, okay? While... The hematologic cancer involves uh, cells normally found in blood and limb, so they are disseminated from the beginning. The example of this hematologic cancer is uh, leukemia or uh, the cancer of white blood cells. Another example is the lymphocytic leukemia, and a type of uh, leukemia. Um, it is a, the uh, the affected is the lymphocytes. Usually, the B cells, okay, but also sometimes the B cells and the T cells, okay, the uh, lymphocytic leukemia. Okay, there is what we call the a cancer in C two, okay, meaning the cancer is is still localized. Um, uh, it is. Uh, only located in one site, okay? And this is a pre-invasive cancer, meaning uh, pwede siyang maging uh, invasive or pwede mag-metastasize, mag, uh, okay? Pag ito ay nandun pa lang sa isang location, okay? It is called a cancer in C2, okay? It hasn't crossed the basement membrane uh, membrane where it uh, lodged, okay? So that is a cancer in situ, okay? Like, for example, in our um, diagram or our picture, okay? Ito yung cancer in situ. Okay? <coughs> so, hindi pa siya nai-erode ang basement membrane. Okay? Hindi pa siya nakakalabas. Okay? So, um, uh, hindi pa siya nagmamatastasize. Okay. 
So let's go to uh, another characteristic of a malignant neoplasm naman. Um, genetically, this is uh, an unstable uh, uh, cell. Okay. Uh, they are unable to correct errors in the cell division. Okay. Is, diba? Supposedly, if uh, uh, there is an error or there is a uh, abnormality in the in the cells uh, when it's duplicated, okay, it will be destroyed or it will just die. Okay. Uh, it will be destroyed by our immune system or it will go to apoptosis. Okay. Because it is abnormal cells. Okay. Or uh, error in the duplicating. But then, uh, in a uh, malignant neoplasm, okay, it will continue to survive. Okay. This, uh, this uh, cancers, these uh, cells, uh, which is erroneous, will continue to divide. It will go into cell division. Okay. Uh, they may have multiple copies of chromosomes. May iba-ibang um, uh, chromosomes. It's, uh, supposedly, there's only one chromosomes, okay, in a cell. But in um, genetically uh, instability, if there's a genetical instability, okay, magkakaroon ng maraming chromosomes, okay? Uh, genes, okay, na pwedeng uh, mutated can affect like for example your growth regulation your cell cycle and arrest okay meaning um, because of this gene mutated okay uh, there will be no regulations of the growth of the cell okay it will not be stopped in growing and proliferating okay the cell cycle naman ay hindi na siya uh, after maturing uh, hindi siya namamatay okay it will continuously proliferating okay it will continuously uh, multiplicating okay yan yung characteristic ng malignant neoplasm <coughs> okay okay so what's the growth properties okay uh, let's go to the, the growth properties uh, comparing the cancer cells and the normal cells okay ang malignant tumor can divide without growth factors, okay, from elsewhere, okay? Kasi, uh, malignant tumor um, make their own uh, growth factor, okay? Others produce numerous, sometimes already active receptors, okay? May mga, pang, mga, mga, mga cells na meron ng uh, growth factor inside them or it will uh, produce a uh, active receptors maraming active receptors okay for a growth factor para pag uh, dumating ang growth factor okay because of, of madaming uh, uh, receptors okay so it will be um, this, the, the, the cells will be um, hyperly stimulated kaya ito ay lalaki ng lalaki okay ito ang uh, ang isang um, dahilan okay uh, para mag-produce ang mga um, mga pharmaceutical ng uh, ng gamot to control okay the growth of uh, of a cancer okay by uh, blocking the receptors okay pag mag-block mo mga receptors therefore hindi na makapasok ngayon ang ang growth factor okay it the the, the growth of the mute uh, the, the, the cancer cell or the malignant cell will now be stopped okay next the the lack cell density and uh, are dependent or uh, contact inhibition ito ay that no normal cells possesses okay the lack cell density dependent or contact inhibition okay meaning uh, most normal cell is stop dividing if the environment becomes crowded okay pag uh, marami na sila mag stop na mag-production kasi uh, in-inhibit na siya ng ibang mga cells. Okay? So, hindi na siya mag-divide ulit. Okay? Um, ang, ang cancer cells ay they continually uh, multiplicating, okay? uh, compressing the other cells and destroying the other cells. Okay? So, palaki sila ng palaki, palaki ng palaki, walang pakialam sa kanilang surroundings. Next is... Um, Encourage independence, okay? Ang mga normal cells 
uh, will also stop dividing or even die if they are not anchored to other cells, okay, or to a surface. While cancer cells are not limited, okay, meaning uh, pag ang isang cell ay nalayo o nahiwalay sa mga kasama niyang cells, it will be destroyed or it will not already grow, it will not divide, but will die. Okay? Uh, while cancer cells are tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang pagdaki niya, pwede pa rin siya mag-survive at mag-duplicate, okay? At dumami ng dumabi and even uh, grow into a new malignant tumor. Okay? This is the difference of a normal cells and a cancer cells. Okay. So, ito kasi, uh, kaya ang tinatawag nila, the cancer cells are uh, immortal uh, because uh, ang normal cells will die eventually. Okay. Ang cancer cells do not. Okay. Ang, um, uh, this is the, the mechanism okay, while, why the cancer cells are, do not die. Okay. In our chromosomes, okay, ito yon, our chromosomes, okay, ay uh, sa dulo nun, there is what we call the uh, telomerase, okay. This telomerase is the, um, uh, ito ay yung nagko-control in the divisions of the, of the cells, okay. Uh, pag nag nag uh, uh, nag uh, duplicate or nag cell divide ang um, ang sang cell ay nababawasan ang telomerase as you can see in this figure okay okay paliit ng panipes ng panipes ang ang, ang telomer okay and pag naubos na ang telomer okay the cell division stop Okay, so this is a mechanism in the in controlling the the cell division or growth of a cell. Okay, but then in a um, cancer cell, uh, the, tele, the the telomeres will be replaced by a enzyme telomerase. Okay. Okay, so marireplace niya ngayon yung yung uh, telomer. Okay? So therefore, because of that, there will be a continuous proliferation or cell division. Okay? Uh, hindi na ubos yung enzyme na yun. So tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang <coughs> cell division at hindi na mamatay ang cancer cell. Okay? Ang ang tama ang ang cancer cell. That's why the L called um uh, uh, immortal, okay? So, ito. Okay? So, tuloy-tuloy ang replication. Okay? Continuous ang proliferation. Uh, the cell survive. Okay? And may escape from replicated silences. Okay? Pwede siyang lumabas. Okay? Next. Let's go uh, to better understanding. Let's go first to uh, to, uh, to understand uh, how the life cycle of a cell okay so normally the number of cells produced is equal to the number of cells that die by apoptosis okay sabi ko nga uh, does the, the the number of the cells uh, that is produced is in equilibrium with the number of the cells that die okay para there, uh, the, there is a, uh, a constant uh, number of cells okay uh, the total number of cells in the body remain constant because of that. Okay? So, but in a cancer, cells increases, increase proliferation frequency and decrease apoptosis. Okay? So, there's an already a disequilibrium. Madame or, or mabilis ang proliferation, pero decrease naman ang apoptosis. Okay? So, magi increase siya ng magi increase okay magi increase ng magi increase okay so hindi sila bumaba bumabalik sa stage or phase of zero meaning 
uh, balik sa first stage of the life cycle of a, of a cell. Okay? Uh, the growth fraction, okay, ito ay the ratio of dividing of resting cell increases causing double timing to decrease. Okay? okay so, increase ngayon ang growth fraction of a malignant cells. Okay? Okay, wait lang. Kasi, um, the, uh, ang nangyayari dito is, uh, as you remember, I mentioned a while ago, the growth factor. It, it, ito ay uh, kailangan ng isang cells to divide. Okay? Uh, the, growth and the growth factor is needed uh, to cause stable cells to, uh, to divide. Okay? Ang cancer cells seems to function on a more primitive time. Okay? They retain the only uh, function essential for survival and preparation. Okay? Yung, um, di ba, ang, nung bata tayo ay uh, tuloy-tuloy ang ating paglaki because of growth factor. And the growth factor are, are uh, always present. Okay? Para tuloy-tuloy ang paglaki na, uh, na isang baby or, or isang bata. Okay? So, ito yung na-retain ng cancer cell is the the primitive uh, type of um, uh, of survival, okay? And um, they avoid the detection from immune cells because they produce a fetal antigen, okay? Sabi ko nga, the fetal antigen, ito yung, yung sa bata, sa, sa, as, as a baby, okay? Tuloy-tuloy uh, ang kanyang paglaki because of, of the fetal antigen, Okay? So, sabi ko nga, a, a malignant cell can um, travel and go to another organ on another part of uh, our body. Okay? That is what you call um, uh, what you call a metastasis. Okay? So, metastasis is a um, uh, the cell uh, in a primitive tumor. Okay? Lost adhesion and develop the ability to escape, travel, and survive to, de to develop a secondary tumor. Okay? Although uh, tumor cells continue to mutate, uh, they maintain some of the characteristic of the primary tumor from which they were derived. So, pwede mo pa rin um, um, ma-distinguish kung saan sila derived using a, uh, a tumor marker. Okay? It is usually possible to determine a tumor originated based on the morphology, what it should look like, and expression of proteins. Okay? Uh, metastasize. Uh, may take place by uh, the blood or the lymphatic system, okay? Uh, sarcomas, ito, sample nyo, sarcomas metastasize more frequently by the blood, okay? Kung ito yung um, primary um, uh, cancer, okay? They, the, the cancer cell may um, uh, enter the bloodstream, okay? They produces a protein, Okay, that will make an opening for the for a um, uh, cancer cell to enter the bloodstream. Okay, uh, sample ng sarcoma, they frequently uh, uh, travel through the blood. Okay, uh, carcinoma is metastasized more frequently by the lymph nodes. Okay, by the the lymph system, lymphatic system. Okay, they will go first to the lymph node. Okay, so lymphatic system going to the lymph node. Okay, then will enter the blood. Then, pedaling mag enter because lymph node and um, and the blood vessels are interconnected. Okay. okay. So now let's go to the cancer associated genes okay, involved in the growth uh, growth promotion. Okay, meron tayong mga genes. Okay, uh, that may uh, associated to the formation or promotion of uh, growth of cancer. Okay, first, there are two broad categories uh, mutate, mutation based on uh, overactivity or underactivity. Okay, first, 
uh, overactivity meaning uh, increase ang kanila activity or underactivity is decrease ang kanila activity. First, genes uh, that may be associated with uh, cancer pra, uh, formation or promotion is the proto uh, uh, oncogenes. Uh, they are uh, code for normal cell division protein. Okay, supposedly this uh, genes are uh, essential or good for individual. Okay, because uh, we need growth factors. Okay, to uh, replace or uh, to replace or uh, replenish a, uh, a injured uh, tissue. Okay, to regrow new genes and new uh, cells. Okay, uh, but then uh, it should be stopped. The growth of, of, of the uh, or the growth of a um, cells must be stopped. Okay, para hindi magkaroon ng disequilibrium or disimbalance. Okay, uh, it will be stopped by the growth factor or growth factor receptors. I wait, wait, wait. wait uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um uh, another and another pa lang uh, uh, genes is may growth uh, factor receptors tayo sa mga cells, okay? Yung mga cells ng ganyan, merong receptors, okay? Dito dumidikit yung growth factor, okay? Para may stimulate ang cells to grow or to to divide, okay? Uh, next is the cell cycle protein, okay? Ito yung nag-inhibit pala. Ito yung nag-inhibit para uh, mag-stop ang, 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 ang growth factor. Okay? Para may stop ang pag-grow. Okay? So, and then, another is the apoptosis inhibitor. Ito naman yung supposedly, ay sabi ko nga, the cell should die uh, eventually if it reaches the maximum um, capacity to cell divide okay or or if it is already damaged or um, mutated it should uh, be it should die naturally okay pero in a, in a uh, uh, malignant cells okay this is uh, there is a presence of the apoptosis inhibitor so in inhibit yan yung yung cause of death or the natural death of the of the cells okay uh, the proto oncogenes uh, mutate to oncogenes meaning to cancer okay by insertion okay so ito like for example by insertion okay uh the cell so because of the of, of the insertion of growth factor i magmultiply nang magmultiply continuously. Okay? Uh, another naman is there is also translocation naman is meaning that madami ang ay madami ang ang, ang receptor. Okay? Madami ang receptor sa cell. So madami ang kakapitan ang growth factor. So therefore, marami ang papasok na growth factor sa cell. So therefore, okay, it will uh, uh, increase the uh, speed of proliferation. Okay? Or there will be a deletion sa mga uh, sabi ko nga the, the apoptosis the, the, apo, the apoptosis ay hindi, hindi mamatay ang, ang cell. Okay? Next. <coughs> there is what we call the tumor suppressor, uh, suppressor, suppressor genes. Okay? Uh, this uh, inhibit the uh, cell division. Uh, mutation inhibit or decrease the this uh, 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 this this gene will will uh, inhibit or decrease the ability of the cell to stop to grow. Okay, uh, because of this, I tuloy tuloy ang paggrow. Okay, supposedly, I um, the tumor suppressor genes, I hindi niya dapat uh, uh, inaalaw na tuloy-tuloy na dadami or mag magdi-divide ang ating um, ating mga cells okay but because it is uh, it is uh, mutated okay 
wala na yung function niya to suppress. Okay? So, therefore, nawawala na yung or magdidecrease na yung ability niya to stop the growth of the A cell. Okay? So, that's yung mga, mga uh, genes, okay? The genes that may uh, promote uh, uh, proliferation of a cancer cell. Okay? Next. Okay, wait lang. Okay. okay, so what is carcinogenesis? Uh, carcinogenesis, okay? Carcinogenesis or um, another term for carcinogenesis is oncogenesis or uh, Tomerogenesis, okay? This is uh, literally the creation of cancer, how cancer is created, okay? It is a process by which normal cells are transformed into cancer cells, okay? Um, uh, this uh, carcinogenesis is uh, characterized by a progression of changes uh, on cellular and genetic level, okay? So, I was having kanina, pwedeng mga genes can uh, lead to uh, formation of carcinogenesis or... Uh, through cellular uh, because um, mutation can happen uh, is happening uh, every time in our cells okay that uh, ultimately reprogram a cell uh, to un to undergo a uh, uncontrolled cell division okay so uh, the result will be a formation of malignant mass okay that is a cardiogenesis okay so uh, there are uh, three stages of um, carcinogenesis or for the cancer to happen, okay? First, there should be a initiation, okay? Initiation um, uh, will happen if there is a damage to the DNA, okay? So, kailangan natin to, uh, for the carcinogenesis to happen or to, to start, uh, the DNA should be damaged, okay? Ang sabi mo kanina, every time naman ay uh, nagkakaroon ng damage to our uh, our DNA, okay? Because of what we eat, okay? Of the surrounding us, or uh, even because it's already damaged genetically, okay? Uh, during uh, cell division, okay? So, next. Uh, supposedly, the cell damage or the, uh, the, da the damage of the DNA of a cell ay... Uh, di ay ay namamatay or uh, na destroyed uh, naturally uh, by macrophages or through apoptosis okay supposedly uh, namamatay sila okay? and will, will be replaced by new and normal cells okay but then um, for kasi na just to happen there will be a promotion of the mutated cells or the diamond cells okay so the diamond cell will now be mutated and there will be stimulated to divide Okay, so ito, okay, uh, magdi-divide siya, okay, dadami na siya, okay, supposedly, uh, the growth of the, of uh, the growth or the division of a cell is um, stopped, okay, or controlled by a restricting agent or apoptosis, right, or the surrounding um, uh, tissues, Okay. Uh, pero uh, sa carcinogenesis, uh, carcinogenesis okay, there will be a progression okay? meaning two more cells will compete with one another and develop more mutation which make them more aggressive okay? so ito padami na lang padami okay? uh, nagkakaroon na lang uh, increase proliferation and the genetic instability iba na itsura okay iba na itsura ng cell okay okay mutated cell na siya okay that is the stages of uh, carcinogenesis now let's go to the 
causative factors okay that may contribute to uh, to cancer okay uh, there are maybe the causative agent may be uh, from the host or from the individual itself or from the environment okay first hereditary okay so meaning this is from the host okay uh, there are uh, Mediterranean inheritance of genes like for example the BRCA1 and the BRCA2 genes okay ito ay nakikita sa mga merong breast cancer okay uh, there is inheritance of defective genes in involved in cell proliferation or apoptosis okay so <coughs> tuloy-tuloy ang proliferation nito at hindi sila namamatay <coughs> ito pag nakikita ito for example nakikita ito na usually uh, sa sa uh, sa um, sa abroad okay kung isang babae ay merong nakita ng um, inherited genes na BRCA1 or BRCA2 okay kasi ito ay very, very at risk of having a breast cancer okay wala pa man silang breast cancer na na-detect pero may nakita silang um uh, uh, genes nila na BRCA1 and BRCA2 okay they are advised Okay, or, the, or they will choose kung gusto na nilang magpatanggal ng suso or what we call the um, mastectomy, okay? The removal of breast, of breast tissue, okay? Kasi they are very prone to uh, breast cancer, okay? Next is a reproductive hormones, okay? Example of our um, uh, reproductive hormones ay testosterone for the male, and um, estrogen for the female, right? Okay. Yung testosterone, uh, testosterone, okay, if, uh, ano bang effect nun? It, this also a growth factor. Okay? Nagpapalaki ng muscle ng, um, na, uh, ng muscle ng mga lalaki. Okay? Naglumalaki yung mga bone nila. Okay? So, ang estrogen naman, ay growth factor din, lumalaki yung breast tissue. Okay? So, there are growth hormones. Okay? So, uh, their hormone, okay, that can often trigger for cell growth and division and may promote cancerous cell division, okay? So, itong mga reproductive hormone to, okay, if they are, uh, like for example, a breast cancer that is um, uh, sensitive to estrogen, okay, tinetest nila yan kung may, may uh, isang breast cancer ay sensitive to estrogen, okay, because if it is uh, sensitive to uh, estrogen, it will... Uh, 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 trigger sabi nga, cell growth and cell division so therefore mag-increase ang size or mag or or, or mag-progress ang isang uh, breast cancer or, or, or breast cancer with this uh, estrogen um, uh, sensitive okay uh, so yan ang reproductive hormones may um, uh, an causative uh, agent for uh, uh uh, proliferation of cancer cells okay obesity okay ang obesity ay uh, ang mga obese individual have an increased insulin okay so there will be an overproduction of insulin and insulin uh, like growth factors okay that's uh, present in obese okay will stimulate the proliferation and inhibition of apoptosis okay so ganun pa rin Okay, it will promote because of the ins the, the production of insulin or or or, or insulin like uh, growth factor. It will promote proliferation. Okay, and hindi rin nagkakaroon ng uh, natural death ang um, ang malignant cells. Okay, next sa immune surveillance and tumor antigen, uh, we develop would be tumors all the time. But the immune system, okay, ang immune system natin, uh, the macropods, the T cells, okay, will kill them, okay, supposedly, okay, supposedly. Uh, but this process can be inhibited by immunodeficient disease. Okay, ano ano example ng immunodeficient uh, disease? Like for example, the AIDS, okay, HIV, okay. Uh, mga AIDS patient, mga full-blown full-blown HIV positive, okay? So, ang kanilang immune system is already um, compromised, okay? So, nawawala na ang kanilang capability to kill a, uh, a, a, a abnormal cells, okay? A, uh, a would-be 
two more cells okay so an uh, example of this is your um uh, uh kaposi sarcoma okay uh, because of the inability of the of the host to destroy uh, malignant cells or or uh, mutated cells okay ay nagkaroon sila ng uh, ng cancer okay the kaposi sarcoma okay sabi ko nga kanina Every, uh, uh, always naman ay nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, damage of our cells, okay? There will always be mutated cells, but then it is destroyed by our immune system, okay? But because of um, of uh, disease in our immune system, ay wal, nawawala yung ating capability to destroy this uh, uh, mutated cells, okay? And cells may also change the expressions of protein, okay? That uh, allow okay uh, that's the progression of the mutation okay. uh, another is the chemical um, uh, carcinogen okay ito yung mga uh, nakaka cancer sabi nga nila na kinakain natin or nasa environment natin like for example the cigarette okay alcohol and ating diet okay yung kumakain tayo ng hotdog okay yung mga yon okay this agent may damage the DNA as I said while ago the RNA or the proteins involved in the control of cell preparation okay so ano yung nangyari uh, because of this there will be um, a mutations of the cells okay may directly cause changes or may be metabolized by the body to indirectly cause changes okay another uh, that may uh, cause uh, mutation is radiation okay it causes direct changes to the DNA resulting in gene and chromosomes changes okay so na damage yan nasisira niya part of it so nagkaroon ng damage and then uh, magkaroon na ng mutation okay another is um, viruses and bacteria okay there are viruses and bacteria that may that might cause uh, uh, malignant cells or cancer okay there are pathogens that may stimulate cell changes resulting in tumor formation, okay? Uh, mayroong example of, uh, of um, uh, microbes, okay, that causes cancer, okay? The human papillovirus, as HPV, ito ay um, uh, nagkakos ng cervical and uh, esophageal cancer. Next is the Epstein-Barr virus. Okay, or the EV mononucleosis, uh, they cause B cell cancer or Burkitt lymphoma. Another is the hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus. Uh, ito ay uh, increased incidence of liver cancer in a susceptible individual, presumably by the triggering regenerative process. Another, ito kanina, yung sinabi ko kanina, kung uh, mababang inyong uh, immune system or uh, incapable of uh, of killing in, uh, mutated cells uh, the type of um, uh, virus is the human T cells leukemia virus that affects the T cells leading to decreased uh, proliferation okay so nawawala ngayon yung uh, function or or the capability of the T cells okay to kill uh, damage uh, or to destroy damage um uh, cells or uh, cancer cells. Okay. Hey. Okay. So, what are the effects of cancer? There will be a disruption of function. Okay. Uh, I will end now this uh, this video. We will continue in another um, video. Okay. And I'll see you in the next video.